Puff, it's Angsov, and today with Peter's house. Yeah, a horror game where we are playing for Steve, and we have to go to Peter's house and do some work for him, like dragging some boxes. So yeah, let's start. Hello, this is Steve from Able Movers. How can I help you? Hi Steve, this is Peter. I need your help with moving some boxes tonight. Sure, we can definitely help you with that. Can you give me a bit more information about the job? Yeah, I have a few boxes that I need to move on my new house. I'll be out tonight, so the door will be unlocked. Well, look at this face. <laughs> this looks already so scary, man. I mean, look at Steve. Steve's like the most innocent character here. Happy man. <laughs> okay. I can come over tonight and take care of it. Can you give me your address? Sure. My address is 619 Main Street. Great. I'll take care of everything. Is there anything else you need from us? No, that's all. Thank you so much, Steve. You're welcome, Peter. Have a good night. You too. Thanks again. Bro, like, compared this Peter with this Peter, like... <laughs> well, time to move some boxes. Alright. Oh, uh, did I open the store? I don't remember. This one says that it must go to the living room. Okay. Oh, the store is closed. I don't know if this is the living room, maybe... Okay, this is not the right place for this box. <laughs> is this the right place for this box? Go to keep moving boxes. Okay, let's just look around the house. Can I go out? Nope. I'm stuck here. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna move those boxes in this room. Wait, this is not the right place. This one says that it must go to the bedroom. Wait, I can open the doors. Oh, I was supposed to click them. Oh, my... Mm. Anyways, can I open the shelter? No. Jesus. Okay, isn't this a kid's bed? But this is definitely the bedroom. I mean, even if it's a child bed, it's still a bed, so... It's not really my problem, after all. Can I turn it off? Yep. So... Living... This is the living room, right? Yep. Okay. I want to check out the house first. What's this? Oh, I thought the only bed is the child bed. I see. So it's a family... With a baby. So this is not the bedroom. Yeah, <laughs> oops. I need to go to the other room for this box. Let's go. So this is the box. Oh, we have some boxes. Okay, let's just check this out. This is the kitchen with <laughs> just the table. And this is the bathroom with just the toilet. Wait, can I? <clears throat> I have to test it. Alright, it's working. Okay, let's ch check it out here. It's just a fridge. I should probably hurry up with the boxes. I can grab something to drink later. Okay. I mean, now we checked out the whole house, so now we can actually... This one says that it must go to the kitchen. I guess this is the kitchen. Oh. No? Oh. <laughs> oh. I thought... Okay, so this is the kitchen. I mean, okay, if there's a fridge, it is a kitchen. Let's take this box. Oh, this one doesn't say there to place. Maybe I should open it? Sure, why not? Oh, is that blood on a knife? Oh, yeah, reading. <laughs> okay, the betrayal of a friend, part one. 
I never should have told my best friend about my wife. There was a moment of carelessness, a slip of the tongue. But what did it matter? He was just another person in my life who didn't understand me, who couldn't comprehend the power that I held. When he asked where she was, I casually replied that she was buried. He laughed it off, not realizing that I was that serious. But I knew I couldn't take any chance. Part 2 I excused myself to go to the bedroom, bathroom, <laughs> but instead I went to the kitchen and found a sharp knife. It was easy enough to sneak up behind him and plug it into his bag. He let out a pathetic gasp before crumbling on the floor. I felt nothing as I watched him bleed out. He was just another obstacle that I had to remove. Another person who didn't belong in my world. Damn, he is definitely a psychopath. Mm, I'm just gonna leave it here. Okay. No! Those were in my footsteps. Oh my god, no. Baby's room. Okay. What doesn't kill me makes me feel alive, I guess. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, I can do this. It's just a game. Bedroom. Like, I know it's my job to do these boxes, but isn't Steve even a little bit frustrated about the fact that he literally just wrote a note about him being a murderer? And he's like, eh, okay, I just finished my job. And the footsteps are st <sighs> Oh my god. <laughs> Bathroom. Scary toilet. This bathroom doesn't even have a shower. Not even toilet paper. Okay, let's take this. Living room. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I forgot what was the living room again. Alright, we are almost done. Dining room. Oh, oh. But dining room without like chairs to sit, it's not really a nice <laughs> dinner room. I mean, even if the boxes had, like, I know they just moved in, they maybe don't have, okay, but like, not having a shower is also weird, because the chairs, maybe they're going to buy them one day, but, yeah, that's a bit weird, <laughs> to not have a shower. There is not even a place for a shower, that's, oh, okay. The Snoop, part one. I was sure I had covered my tracks, but her sister were getting suspicious. One of them came to speak to me in person, sensing that something was not right. She kept prying and asking too many questions, so I had to take action. I couldn't risk her snooping around, so I had to think of. I had to think fast. I tried to convince her that my wife was away on a trip and wouldn't be back anytime soon, but she wasn't buying it. She started getting too close, asking too many questions. In a moment of frustration, I grabbed a heavy object and stuck her over the... Her glasses flew off her head. She crumbled to the floor, groaning in pain. She lay there gasping for my... Oh my god, this man is a... It's literally a serial killer, like, oh god, why am I here? <laughs> Steve must be like the chillest person alive if he doesn't care. No, not the lights. <laughs> I'm scared to look back. <laughs> Please. Oh, wait, there's literally no lamp, but I just pretend I didn't see that. Nothing happens. I mean, nothing. Yeah. We're just gonna finish our work and then leave and maybe get to our family, maybe Steve has a family because Peter and his family... Okay, after the two notes, I think he has no family. So yeah. Steve... All that work made me thirsty, I should get something to drink before I leave. <sighs> oh. 
I can't even finish the boxes so I can leave as fast as possible. Okay, I'm done. It's all over. Mm, I bet he won't mind if I take some of this juice. Time to go. Okay, now I'm really sc Okay, I'm just gonna go. Why not? What can happen? Just a little heart attack might happen. Mm, yeah, of course. All the doors are closed. Oh no, those are all boxes with the notes in it. I think I might just... <laughs> the vanishing act, part one. Oh my god. It was only a matter of time before someone realized that my wife and her sister were missing. My wife's other... I just, I just thought that there's some noises in the back, okay. Uh, my wife and her sister were missing. My wife's other sister, the one I had spurred, had grown suspicious and went to the police. I knew I had to act fast. I picked my bags and... Holy crap, he killed his whole family. But I knew that it wasn't enough. The detectives would come looking for me, asking questions that I couldn't answer. So I came up with a plan. I knew that I couldn't just disappear and hope for the best. I had to make it seem like I too was a victim. What I had to finish all my wife and her sister it was a risky move, but I was confronted that it would work. I began by stacking a break in at our home. I smashed a window and ransacked the place, making it look like someone had broke and in and taken us all. I left a few items of clothing behind, along with some other personal touches, to make it seem more convincing. Then I disappeared. However, to ensure that no one gets too close to me, I started learning how to spike drinks with drugs. Although I did not condone this behavior, it makes me feel powerful. I hope the juice that we took isn't the one that got drugs in it. And I'm scared to close it because I feel like we're gonna get a screamer. Are you guys ready? Oh. I think I will just leave this here. Oh no. No. No, 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 please, I want to leave. Oh no, someone is calling me. I'm just gonna walk backwards. Maybe it helps me with something. No. But they may leave me no choice. Okay, guys. Oh. Shit. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I don't want to... Okay. Shit, the lights are out. I hope my phone battery didn't die. Come on. There, I can at least see where I'm heading now. No. Okay, and what am I supposed to do? I don't wanna go. And someone is calling me and I don't know where or what and... <sighs> oh god. Oh. Oh my god. No, 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 oh my god, no. <sighs> Anyways. There's a gross smell coming there. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna go anywhere. I don't dare to open it. I don't wanna know what's inside there. Oh no. Man, I don't want... <laughs> Yeah, I have to go to the baby, definitely. But then... Don't look back. I won't be looking back. I'm just gonna go forward. No, we're back. Let's just go. Yeah. We are strong. That's why I don't like horror games. That's why I want to play some cute little games, but not this. But doesn't kill you. Let's just go. I don't care. Hello, what do you want from me? <laughs> Your job was just move the damn boxes, not to open them. Hello, Peter. <laughs> oh. 
Peach's house. Yo, thanks for watching my video. <sighs> Yo, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. I really... It was even more scarier than the Squidward game I played like some days, some few days ago. Oh my god. I mean, I don't like horror games, but I know that maybe it's more interesting to watch, but still, it's too scary. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> bye.